So the next thing we're going to look at is background color. I get a lot of questions from people who like the blue background and they'd like to be able to change it. And of course, if you go view display settings system colors, let me slip this over for you. You get the opportunity to change the background. Now, if you use scheme you can click on Use Pre-Wildfire Scheme. If you do this, however, you lose a lot of the new color differentiations. So I don't recommend using the Pre-Wildfire Scheme. But if you like to change the background, that's fine. Now check this out. If you change background here, you get your color changer, and you could make it, uh, you know, a nice, a nice blue, and then it'll be, it'll be, be blue. If you uncheck here, boom, you get a nice a nice blue background. If you leave it blended, you can change the blended color from the top to the bottom. I personally like to use the top color. What is it? 158, 155, 145 for the bottom color. 158, 155, 145. And that way I can still use the blended color without having the distraction of it being blended. And the reason that I use that is so that there's a differentiation between regular modeling mode and, uh, and Sketcher. You'll see that there's some differentiation with Sketcher. Now, I've changed it. It's easy enough to change. I could map key it so it happens every time. But there is a better way. If I use File and Save, what it's going to do is it's going to save by default a syscol.scl file into my local working directory. If I uh, click here, that's going to go right back to my working directory. So it's going to save a file called syscol.scl in working. I could give it any name, but this one will, this one will be fine. Okay. Now I've saved the file. Now if I want to. I can use view, display settings, system colors, come to file and open that file. But again, there's a better way. I can using tools and options. I can edit my config.pro to add a new option to get the colors. So let's look uh, for something called uh I think it's called colors. Find that. Or is it color? Lots of color. Okay. System colors file. Specifies the system color file. Use the full name. So I'm going to browse here for the file called syscol.scl. Add change. Apply. And close. Now, next time I start Pro Engineer, it's going to start with these colors.